Gemini's. What's going on with you guys in this upcoming week? This is a general reading. <clears throat> and my classic reading is trusty old Celtic cross. So, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with Gemini's? What's going on with Gemini's? Gemini's. Will of Fortune. Sagittarius, Piscean, and yeah. I'm feeling like you guys are at this point where there's a lot of, of change going on around you. And I feel like you guys are just taking a moment right now, just kind of stand still, take everything in before you actually decide upon something here. <clears throat> What's crossing Gemini's? What are you deciding on? Eight of Swords. There's something from the past that you're reflecting on. Um, but, you know, it has you at this point where you know that your next move is going to be a big move. And I feel like you guys are kind of shying away from that. Because whatever it is, is tough for you. There are some things from your past that I feel like uh, keep you bound. And it's hard for you to step out of that. There's something you keep playing over and over and over again, I feel. This is your card with the Eight of Swords. It's like you're trying to figure out how to accomplish this. How to get to the other side of this. <clears throat> what is the underlying issue here for Gemini's? Underlying issue. Some cards want to jump out there. Underlying issue for Gemini's. Underlying issue. Oh, okay. We got lots of cards trying to flip over here. What's going on, guys? Are there several things that are going on that you're trying to like? compartmentalize, put them in their rightful place. Underlying issue for Gemini's. Underlying issue for Gemini's. Okay, all right. <clears throat> There's Ace of Wands there. How do you start this? It's getting started. How do you initiate something here? Having that spark, that drive to actually make some shit happen. That drive, I feel like, um, has kind of like burnt out. And so you're needing that push, that push to go ahead and, and do what it is that that you have on your mind to do. There's something that you have on your mind to do here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. That initial spark. <clears throat> Recent past for Gemini's. Recent past. Five of Pentacles. You guys felt isolated. You felt different. You felt like um, outside of somebody's circle. I feel like now you're inside the circle. And you're looking all around thinking, huh, how do I accomplish this? How do I, how do I make this happen? You guys felt very lonely before, very isolated, rejected, hurt by something or someone. Taurus energy. Crowning thoughts for Gemini's. Crowning thoughts for Gemini's. Four of Cups. I'm definitely feeling like, you know, you guys are stable in your emotional state, but I also get that you're bored. I get that you guys want the attention from someone in particular. This is cancer energy here. But at the same time, it's like 
You don't want anybody. You don't want to allow someone into your personal space. You don't want to feel emotionally um, vulnerable. But you're kind of bored at this point. <clears throat> it's coming in for Gemini's. It's coming in for Gemini's. It's coming in for Gemini's. And we have the magician. The high priestess, rather. I'm sorry. The high priestess is here. This is you guys still, like, um, just thinking about what it is that you want to do. But I think, like, here... You're really not sure what you want to do, but you get sure of what it is that you want to do. The next step is initiating it, starting it, putting putting action to what it is that you're actually thinking here. There definitely could be um, somebody that's coming in or somebody that you are wanting to initiate something with that's very um, intuitive that uh, is kind of mysterious that keeps things to themselves but for the most part I feel like a lot of you this is you keeping things to yourself you know exactly what it is that you want to do it's just how to get it started I feel like that's holding you up Pisces energy there how does Gemini feel about this situation Nine of Pentacles. I think you are just throwing yourselves into other activities. I think you have a lot of responsibilities. I think you're good at um, managing your time and your energy. With the Nine of Pentacles here. And I think you have distractions that take your mind off of things sometimes. But I also see that you feel trapped in your thoughts. So there is no escape from your thoughts other than to take action on what it is that you're thinking about. Okay. Virgo energy there. What's influencing Gemini's? What's influencing Gemini's? Page of Pentacles, taking action on what it is that you're thinking about. If this is a new activity, do it. This is something different for you. This is something out of the ordinary that you wouldn't normally do, I feel, what you're thinking about here. I feel some of you offering something to someone. Could be an apology. Or someone offering something to you in the form of an apology, a gift, an exchange, to talk about something. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for a Gemini. Two of Cups. I feel like you guys want that love of your life. You want that person that you can, um, you know, walk this earth with for the duration. Or crawl or roll. <laughs> I mean, you know, somebody that you feel like vibes with you, that that knows you, that spends time with you, is happy to be around you. That cancer energy. We have the four of cups here, you being bored. Your hope is to no longer be bored and be by yourself, to share your emotions with someone else, to share your feelings, to share your time, your love. Overall outcome here for Gemini's. Three of Cups. I do feel like there are some regrets here with this person. Um, I think that you reminisce about this person. You do feel sorry for something in this situation with this person at this point. I do see that um, you know going out with friends and family is going to help you to come out of this this stagnation that you're experiencing here 
and here. But I do feel like there, there's also going to be a point in time where you have to make a choice about what it is that you want. Do you want to remain here in the Four of Cups energy? Yeah, your emotions are stable, but you're also bored. Or do you want the Two of Cups where you're sharing your life with somebody? Yeah, it may not be that stable all the time, but hey, which one do you choose? And I think that's where um, you guys are coming to at the end of this week going into next week, okay? That's also Cancer Energy there. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.